Oh my god, I've never had Hungry Jack's breakfast. I've just discovered Hungry Jack's this year. I always thought that I hated it. And this is the first time I'm having their breakfast. Okay, that was seriously delicious. I am going to go down to Coffs Harbour. My cousin plays for Sharks, Cronulla Sharks. So I'm going down with my auntie and cousins of mine and my uncle and yeah, just the whole fam bam. So we're going to drive down. That's all. Stay at Coffs Harbour for a few nights, so I'm gonna take you along with me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> We're on the way! Oh, so Six kind of hours! Oh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Two and a half hours to go! Yes! Sneakers driving now. Finally! I so big, I'm on my totem! I think they changed the name. Guys, we're nearly there. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's Nika's birthday as well, so we're gonna go to a dinner place tonight. <laughs> She's 21. We're gonna get some pina coladas and you know, just live our best lives. The reason why they have a big banana is because there's lots of banana farms here. Is that right? I have no idea. I think so. I thought it was bigger. Well, it's big. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and that's it, guys. See you later. <laughs> this is so. Oh, whoa. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. What? Oh, this is so. Oh my god, can we get photos here? Oh, guys. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh, it goes all the way around. What? That's nice. Oh, yes. White linen. Long mirror. Ooh. This is so cute. I know. I can't get over. I feel like I'm in Europe or like. <laughs> I'm not. You know. I'm mm. I'm over the moon. Wow. So we finally made it to Coffs Harbour. Took us. So we left at 11:30. Got here at 3:30. So four and a bit hours. So, such a long drive. We're going to check out, maybe go to an RSL for dinner or just get like a nice pub feed. It's Tanika's birthday tomorrow, so that'll be really fun. And then we've got to, actually we've got to go pick up the tickets as well tonight for the game. So we're going to do that, meet up with Naldo and get the tickets off him. And then we're going to go out for dinner, which I'm really excited for. And yeah, this weekend's just all about family and fun and just enjoying life so yay <laughs> um i feel like i have to tell you guys something but i don't know how i think it's gonna be like a whole nother video if i tell you well let's go don't run up let's go go to don't laugh at me <laughs> Laughed at me. That is so weird because we literally were just saying, like, just before Tanika come out, and I said, "Look, there's four kookaburras here," Excuse and she me. said, "If one of them laughs at you, it means someone is pregnant around you." Okay. <laughs> it's like everyone's pregnant though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh you, can, you can eat that. <laughs> well, you can have it. Oh. Pull it. I'm not eating you again. I just gave you a shit. Okay. Hey. hey. This is my uncle. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to act to these funny vlogs. You just, I don't know. Say hi. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey guys. My other uncle that's running away. <laughs> We're gonna go to dinner now. Where are we going? What's the pub called? I don't even um, know. Something. 
<laughs> Something <laughs> Cuss Harbour RSL. <laughs> right into it. Long Island. <laughs> Welcome. It's uh, day one of Coffs Harbour, 2023. <laughs> it's officially you are about oh four or five days. No introduction. Wait, we'll I need to introduce you. This is my cousin, Ronaldo Mulitalo. Yes. And now I'll, you can talk. Uh, now I can talk. Well, <laughs> day one of Coffs Harbour, 2023. And this is our uh, day five, six journey of our uh, Oh, put your Insta handle. Get at me, Ronaldo underscore Mulitalo. And your Twitch. Get at my Twitch, Bob Ronaldo. If you want to come, all my gamers out there, if you want to come, look at, you know, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to get out of it, come get out of it. But this is around day six, seven. I was trying to um, find Demi, her husband, so. Oh! I haven't told them yet. Oh, well, you know now. <laughs> Hoo ha! It's a natural. this in this beautiful what's the what's the hotel called opal, opal cove resort. resort thank you <laughs> Whoa. welcome welcome and to this is a thumbs up oh oh no do it again oh what the hell um, don't do that while you're oh it doesn't matter it's gone <laughs> that is your life that is my life high five I'm not touching those fingers. <laughs> can't even like, can't even, look, can't even put my hands straight. <laughs> Are you a piano player or? You know, I <laughs> Give me a little. <laughs> I can't even get, put a ring on. I just put oh, here, the cartilage is looks gone. Looks like you're single forever. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to put a ring on. Now I know how Duncan feels. <laughs> so, as you would know from last night, my cousin probably spilled the beans. Um, I am no longer with my boyfriend of seven and a half years. Essentially, we broke up about 10, 12 days ago. And I have not been a single woman since I was 18 years old. So my whole adulthood. And yeah, I was pretty shocked, but we have been kind of on the rocks for a few months to begin with. He just wanted to um, have a break and I was okay with that. I just said, yeah, I'll give you some space. I'll move out. I'll move into my mom's. And pretty much when I moved out from his place, so I was living at his house for about five years. And yeah, that was like the beginning of our breakup pretty much. And yeah, I was very crushed. Like the last two nights were like the first nights that I actually didn't cry myself to sleep. I find that like when I was alone, like especially in the car, I would cry about it. But as I said, like it's been a few months now. So I kind of like had a feeling that it was going to happen. And it's crazy when you're like with someone for so long, you just know, like you have these intuitive feelings because you're so connected for so long. You know, it was my longest ever relationship I've ever been in and yeah like it's it was just like a massive change he's was my best friend and in a way tend to get like that i guess you know being in our 20s you do get a little bit lost like you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you want and it's kind of like a quarter life crisis in a way and like i'm gonna admit i've even had those feelings as well like with my life like i don't really know what i'm doing but i'm just doing things but um, like I have goals and I just like follow what I love and what I'm passionate about and like what I love and what I'm passionate about is definitely just helping people and being of service to people and um, helping people get results out of their lives so hence why I'm studying Pilates reformer 
so yeah like I'm speed talking and I know I'm like just rambling right now but I just thought I would update in my vlog um, just so you guys have like an understanding of like what's going on in my life especially those who do know me you know like you would know that about my life and with my past videos like I explained how we met and stuff so it was like quite like how we started dating Jake and I was quite a beautiful story so like if you want to listen to that story I do have a video of like my life story video so definitely go check that out if you want to know that because there's some beautiful pieces there of our relationship yeah I've just been taking each day as it comes and I've been trying to have things to look forward to and um, you know rather than focusing on the past and what has happened I'm so appreciative of, of my past and of my past with Jake but like now I have to move forward and look forward to things and have things to be excited about and that's what really makes me feel happy about myself and happy about my life so I'm just gonna spend more time in my family more time with myself and um, yeah do things that I believe is gonna make me feel fulfilled and pleasant in my life so I guess that's like something else that I love to do is being open about who I am and what what I do in my life and yeah like I love that and I love that um yeah you can learn so much about yourself by just being open with others so I really appreciate you guys for watching and listening in and tuning in and hope you subscribe and keep watching my journey but yeah today is game day so we're gonna watch my cousin the sharks vs Newcastle Knights tonight we have a box I want to say one more thing I am so happy to be with my family right now like I just my family like I just it's just like a pure unconditional love for them like yeah I'm just really happy about I'm so happy about my family <laughs> like I'm so grateful and all the people that support me during my like recovery phase and like shout out to you guys i absolutely adore every single one of you that have messaged me and just given me so much love and support it's just like huge i can literally cry right now if you want to go for an nrl team go for the sharks go for number five <laughs> 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 Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you can Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, can I throw you anything? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow.
same Uber oh. driver. The same Uber driver. Well, this is a sign. Chaos, what what song, song are you going to play? Of... <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> that was memorable. Our um, Uber in. Yeah, and we got the same Uber ship? out. <laughs> you want to listen to some Indian shit? Yeah, Indian shit. Indian shit. Give us that yeah, Indian yeah, shit. Play that, play that, play that. Play that shit. Woo! Ninja, ninja. 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 Ninja.